Hey, everybody. I'm Ron Dorr um, with MSCR. This is the fitness program. Working with you uh, by video to work with you through this uh, time we've got here while you're at home. Uh, a couple things. This is going to be a functional fitness class. We're going to work on strength, a little balance, some aerobics. So what I want to make sure of is that if you haven't been very active over the past month, that you stay kind of a lower volume right now, take your time with it. Um, deal out first. I've read that within 24 hours, balance and strength will start to move out um, on older adults. So make sure you take that into consideration. Start out slow. We want to make sure that you're stretching, keeping warm beforehand. Um, if you would like, and I would recommend that you do have a chair nearby, uh, we will be doing some balance stuff. I want you to work on that, but I also want you to be safe. So use that chair as much as you're going to need it. A couple things to remember. One, stay hydrated. Remember that you need to drink and keep it going. While we're doing the class, stop whenever you need to. Take a drink, let the heart rate come down if you have to. Do what's right for you. The other thing is uh, every once in a while we'll take breaks. Check your heart rate as you do that. Feel and make sure it's where you want, that you're not comfortable. Um, and if at any time you need to sit down, the chair is right there for you. So we're going to start out with just a warm up first. We will go through about 10 exercises just to get the body warmed up a little bit. So we'll start out nice and slow. Just get a little bend in the knees and come down. Bring those arms up overhead. Roll them up. I want you to roll the shoulder blades back as you do. Deep breath in, push it down, open up that stomach, force the air down in the lower part of the lungs, and slowly bring those arms back down again. We're going to get a little higher each time, start warming up those muscles and stretching them out as they do warm up. And again, deep breath in, exhaling as you come back down. Keep those shoulder blades back. So we're going to be taking it up. Again, deep breath in, see how high you can get those arms up. And when you come down, make sure you bring those shoulder blades back down into their sockets. I have my notes right here, so. We are going to next be doing a pivot. So I want you to just take feet, or, uh, feet shoulder width apart. And the first thing I want you to do is just take hands up and just rotate. You can the hips forward and just use that arm to come around. Give a stretch to the back. Make sure you're pushing that back arm back and around the other side. Don't let that front arm collapse around. And again, leaving those hips forward, just bring it down around. Take your time again, we're just starting to warm up these muscles. All the and you, and knee back down. So my question is, if you haven't been exercising for the past month, why? Okay, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to get the hips involved. So you're going to make a turn, keeping the feet forward, but bring those hips around now. You go just a little deeper if it's comfortable for you. Again, make sure the shoulder blades are staying in a straight line so that you're not tweaking the lower part of the back. And come back to center. And one more time, we'll go around each way. A little deeper each time so you can get just a little more stretch. You should as those muscles start to warm up a little bit. Come around to the other side. Back to center. Shake that out. We're going to do one more time. So I'm going to take that back leg and we're going to pivot off the toe. So you're going to come up with the toe and around. So bringing those arms up and coming up and around and let that whole body rotate around. We're stretching out the middle of that spine. There's supposed to be mobility there. We've got to make sure it stays there. And come up and around the other way. Again, take your time. Do what's right for you. And back around the other side. Rotate. Get that shoulder. Get 180 degrees. And come back to the other side. Stretch it out. Bring it back to center. And just shake the arms out a little bit. First thing I want you to do is just take one more time. Bring those arms up overhead. Take a big deep breath in. Again, filling the lungs, pushing that stomach out, pushing that air down, and exhale as you bring those arms down. Next thing we're going to go into is I want to start with a progression to get us into windmills. So the first thing is just holding your hands up front, and I want you to start coming down a little bit, twisting and touching the hip. So you know, we're working our way into it, got a little bend in those knees, we're coming down, touching the hip, and back up again. Push that shoulder back, just like you were doing a deep one. Down, roll it, back up. And again, take your time with it, bring the shoulder back, up, again, we're just warming these muscles up so we can get a little deeper with them. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the knees. Same thing, we come down, pulling the shoulder back, touching the knees, and back up again to the other side, same thing, down, and back up again. One more time to the knees, 
reaching down and rolling up. Making sure you're keeping that back straight all the way through this. Don't let it bend. Take that back shoulder, try the back, and back up. Speak to the next point where you bring the hands up to the side. If this is comfortable for you, I want you to keep the upper or the knees bent just a little bit. You take this back arm, bring it up, and you're going to reach down with that hand towards the toe. Keep a little bend in the knees. And back up again. Only go as far as it's comfortable for you. We're stretching that back up. You can also feel this in the back of the legs. Going up into the glutes in the back. You're going to feel it back there too. Keeping that back straight. Coming down. Rotating that shoulder. And back up again. And one more time. Bring it down. Roll it. And back up again. Bring those arms down. Shake them out. We're going to do that one more time. With bringing the shoulders up. Getting some good air in the lungs. Keeping us ready for the exercise. Bringing the arms up overhead. Again, deep breath in, roll the shoulder blades back, and exhale as you come down. And relax, shake out the arms a little bit. What we're going to do is we're going to get the arms away from the body, and a pushing move. So I want you to take the feet or shoulder width apart. And first, just bring that hand out. As you rotate, you're going to punch out and bring it back in again, alternate to the other hand. Take your time and bring it back in. I want you to push like you're actually pushing something against you. Away from you, turn it, and rotate, and back. Be comfortable with it. Next thing you can do is just bring that step forward, and reach, and stretch out the back just a little bit, and bring it back in. Other side, same thing. Reach out, and pretty much in front of you, a little cross, but not a whole lot. I can bring it up. Keep that back straight, feel the stretch in the middle of the spine, and back up, and the other side out, and back up. So next we're going to take a wide turn. You're going to step out, opposite arm comes across, hips stay forward, you're going to feel the stretch all the way up the back, especially through the upper back, you're going to feel it. Bring it across the shoulder blades, and back in again. Contract the muscles, work that muscle as you go around, and back in again. You're pushing something out. You're actually hitting somebody. Back up, not for real. And back up. And up. Take that up one more time between the arms up overhead. Bring them up. Roll the shoulder blades back. Keep breath in. And exhale. As you bring the arms down, shoulder blades back. Stretch it out. All right. Next one we're going to do is we're going to start out with a squat. Um, so in the squat, always remember, we want to do first is just kicking the butt back. It doesn't have anything to do with the heels at first, or the knees at first. So just going to come back. Bring that butt back. And up again, shoulders stay straight, back stays right up, and back up again. The knees almost always stay right over those ankles. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to and bring the arms up as we push that butt back, and up and down. And again, bring it down with me, we're going to go down, keeping that butt out, and back up. Only go down as far as it's comfortable for you. If you need to share with this, Feel free to use it if this is better for you. Coming down and keeping that butt up for right now, go ahead and use it. Do it's right from your knees to your body. It's about you. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is as you come down, let those arms fall straight down between the legs. And as you come up, sweep the arms up overhead, stretching out the chest, rolling the shoulder blades back. Coming back down, we're we'll working the hips here, we're we'll working the glutes through the butt, and back up again, nice and long. Keep that torso upright. Your torso and your shins should be in the same plane. You should be going at the same angle. And bring it up. And one more time. Keeping the shoulder blades back and down. Reaching down. Holding there for one second. Knees right over the toes. And back up. Bring the shoulder blades back. Bring the arms down. Roll those back. So I want you to go at a split stance. So I want you to have one leg back, one leg forward. And that back leg is flat, it puts you flat on the floor. You don't need to go into a full uh, squat or a lunge. You can just do it nice and small, whatever's right for you. Take the steps if you want. First thing I want you to do is put your hands up your hips and just bring that heel up. And then back down again. You want to make sure that your feet are parallel. Find your balance first. That's the most important thing. Get comfortable right in here. Let the brain figure that out. And then once you've got that, it's going to be a lot easier to bring that up. And back it down again, staying on the same leg. I want you to take the hands down to the side. And as you come up, 
which the younger can come, stretching out that back, roll the shoulders out, and back down again as you come down. Feel the stretch in the back of the leg at the same time. Again, coming up, reaching high, reaching long, and coming back down again. One more time, bring it up, roll the shoulders up, and bring it back down again. Same leg, stay right with that one. And this time we're going to do a curl as we come up. So I want you to go down a little bit of a squat, or a little bit of a lunge that's comfortable for you. Again, body stays upright, torso stays upright, knee is over the ankle. As you come up, bring the arms up, roll them over, and back down again. Actually, you're pushing something, track those muscles, work them hard, even though you don't have any weights in there. Turn it over, and back down again. A couple more times, bring it up. Squeeze and hold that core nice and tight as you do this. And back down, keep your torso upright. Back up, squeeze in, and back down again. All right, take that out a little bit. We're gonna to go to the other side, doing the same thing. Starting out with that split. So keep that one foot back. Keep our parallel, find your balance first. Start knowing where you're at, and the body's comfortable with being there. And put your hands at your hips, that heel up through the back and back down. Again, bring it up, squeeze the muscles in the back of the leg and try to get all those muscles activated in the back. You use all those muscles to walk and you get really, really weak. So, one more time, push it up. You might find a balance challenge here with that being on the toe on the back foot. Use the chair if you need it. And back down. And this time, we're going to bring those arms up again. Reaching out long. If only one arm works for you and you can't get your arms all the way up, don't go all the way up. Just bring them up as far as is right for you and back down again. And now with that back leg back. One more time. We're going to take them, we're going to do the curl, so find the balance point and come down right down between the legs. Your piston comes right down the center. As you push up with that back leg, roll those arms up in a curl. Flip them over and back down again. Again, we're going to roll up and turn the hands over. If you're pushing down on something super wants to fly up in the air, then back up and push that down again. All right, shake that out one more time. Turn the arms up overhead, rolling the shoulder blades back, deep breath in, push it down into the stomach. Feel the lungs open up and exhale. If you're coughing, that's fantastic. That is what we're looking for. All right, we're going to take a break here. Uh, 60 seconds, give you something to drink. Uh, rest a little bit, check your, your heart rate, make sure it's where you want it to be, that it's not too high. If you need to sit down, go ahead and sit down. Next thing we're going to move into is uh, strength exercises. So get ready. Okay, for the strength exercises. We have 60 seconds. Hopefully, if you need more, pause. Just take a break. Shut it down, do whatever you need, take a rest, and then come back into this again. You can do whatever you want. You're at home pushing the buttons. So. Brought a couple props with me here. So, stuff you can use around the house for weights. If you do not have dumbbells or bands, cans, anything that you've got in the cupboard that works. Like this, um, you can do the curls with them, you can do overhead shoulder presses with it, just hang on, you get great grip, it works your forearms as well. Another option, bottles of water, you can use those, and bring it back down. If the weights are getting too heavy, you can just drink the water, it's not going to hurt you, and bring it back up, and back down, same thing, a little lighter. And the last option, or another option, is bottles from laundry detergent. What we do with those is the great thing about this is you can fill them with water. However much water you put in it is going to be the weight you got. Don't drink this one for water. And you want to take it and again, bring it up, nice handle to hold on to, and back down again, going out to the sides. So these are handy to have. I would use dumbbells if you've got that get the weight that's right for you. Not too heavy to start out with. So the first thing we're going to start out with is uh, just doing some squats. So things we did at the beginning, we're just going to add a little weight to it. 
If the weight is wrong for you, go ahead and get rid of it. Just do the, you can do all of this by body weight. Absolutely, it's gonna be just as effective, just tighten those muscles up. So again, first thing we're gonna do on that squat, we're gonna bring the butt back, nice and deep. Pushing it back, and you feel the stretch in the back of the legs, and come back up again. Squeezing through the back of the legs, and again, coming down, pushing that butt out. Do not let the shoulders roll forward, that's super hard to lower back. And coming back up, and again, going down deep. Whatever's right for you, you might find that after you do it a couple times, you're able to get down a little deeper. Challenge yourself, but don't hurt yourself. And back down, and that's the one. Come back. And up. And again, you're going to come down, you're going to roll the butt way back, and push back up again. When you're pushing back up, all of the way between the ball of the foot and the heel. There's a triangle there that runs across the ball of the foot to the middle of the heel. You go down and you push up with that whole area, squeezing as you come out. Squeeze those glutes, back down, and one more time, hold for just a count, and come back up again. So a great way, if you have any problems getting that move down, you take a chair, and you just take and push the butt up. You do this at your sink as well, and come back up again. This is a great way to get that form down. Keep your knees straight. You put your feet right or your legs right up against the counter, uh, the covers themselves, so that you have nowhere to go pushing that butt back and coming back up again. Use the arms to help as much as you want to help the knees, but in time, try to get more work into those, into the legs. Next one we're going to do is we're going to do that squat that we did before, but this time when we come up, so the butt goes back, as you come up, I want you to lift one leg up off the floor and back down. It doesn't have to be very high. And we're going to alternate. We're going to come up. If this way, you can tap if you want and just put the toe down and bring it back in again. We're working that core for just that amount of time. The core is working to keep you upright, keeping that torso straight. So don't be leaning in the opposite direction. Make the hips do the work to bring that leg out and back down again. Nice and slow. Take your time with all of them. Make the muscles work. Remember, everything that we do is intentional. Every movement we control. Back down, back out. Coming up, tap or lift that leg, whichever is right for you, and back down again. Nothing you can do is get up one side of the chair. That will help as well. And back down. We're going to do one more time on your side. Out and back in. Coming down. Push back up, out with that leg, and back down again. This is what we're going to do is a deadlift. So we're working that whole rear chain here. Uh, all of these exercises work on the butt, keeping these muscles strong, working on the hips. Those are all of our stability and mobility muscles. Those are what keep us safe, helps us prevent falling. So the next one, keeping that back straight, shoulders are back, really important. Don't let yourself roll forward, your shoulders are back. You need to bring those weights right down next to the legs. And it's more important that you kick the butt out than how low you can go. And you roll back up again, rolling those shoulder blades back. Again, kicking that butt out, coming down nice and slow, and then rolling back up, and you get to the top, rolling the shoulder blades back. Again, coming down, weights in the back, and Roll the hips, coming up and drive through. Tighten the glutes at the very end. One more time. Come down, squeezing, rolling it up, and done. All right, roll the shoulders back. We're going to take a short break. Give you a couple seconds here to uh, get a drink. Relax just a little bit. We're going to go back and we're going to do that set again. It'll go quicker this time because we won't have to go through all the instructions. We'll keep cueing, but a lot of it you'll have on your own now. So, uh, as we wait here, I'm going to a joke for you. So, I, I, I found these. What do you call a dog that can do magic? A labracadabra dog. My dad, my dog. I got a hundred of them. All right, so. First thing we're going to start out with again is a straight squat. You're just going to keep the weights by the side. Again, if it's getting to be too much, get rid of the weights. 
Use the back of the chair if you need to help you go down and back up again. So we're going to come down, bring it down. Butt goes out, most important part. You pinch, take the hips, shoulders are back. You push up from the ball of the foot back to the heel. You come back up again. Down, squeezing as you come down. Rolling up, pushing through the leg, shoulder blades back. Three more times as you go down. See if you can get a little farther this time than you were able to before. And back up. Two more. Bring it down. Again, I would love you to take your time. Keep those muscles under tension as long as possible. The longer you can keep them under tension, the more you can get out of them. And we're going to do one more time here. Back. Stop at the bottom. Don't bounce here. And then come back up. To give you an example, what a lot of people do is they'll go down like this and they'll just pop right back up again. Use the muscles. Take that stop just for a second before you come back up again. Next one is going into that squat and bringing your leg up to the side. Again, if you want, tap out to the side. That's better for you. Do what's right for you. So we're going to come down again in that squat, just like we were before. Push up, and as we come up, we're going to bring that leg tap out or up in the air. It's your choice. And back down again. Rolling up with those glutes. This works the muscle on the side of the hips and in the middle of the butt. Those again are our mobility, stability muscles. We want to make sure that we keep those nice and strong. Up. Foot out, back in again, coming down, legs out, shoulders are back, drive up, do the triangle, ball to the heel, up, and back down again. That's what's going to be the deadlift. So again, weights right next to the body, shoulder blades are back, you're going to take that foot back first, pinching at the hip, up the hip inch, and once you got them, you can feel these hamstrings starting to really stretch out in the back of the thighs. You come back up again, squeezing all the way up that back chain. Back down again. You actually start squeezing down back by the heels. And as you do, you drive back up again nice and slow. And again, going down, reaching back, nice and deep. Coming up, roll. Two more times. Again, coming down. You get tired here, get rid of the waist. Just don't let the shoulders drop down. Back up again, roll the shoulders back. You can also do this hanging out the side of the chair if you need to. Perfect for that. Coming down and roll back up. Roll the shoulders back a little bit. All right, another break. Get a break here. Uh, got to the first set of these. We've got a couple more sets to do the strength exercises. So keep your weights, your cans, whatever you're using. And again, you weight this right for you. If you feel yourself getting tired now, just drop it down, go to something a little easier. You can come back to this video anytime you want. You can just keep watching it and keep doing these exercises. So you can work your way back up again. If you are ready for the next step, I'm not sure yet. Okay, here we go. I am ready. We're going to start out with taking the weights. So you're bringing the arms up right in front. Holding the shoulder blade back as you do that. So if this is too much, get rid of the weights completely, go to something much lighter. Keep a little bend in the knee with the shoulders back. You want to keep a good posture all the way through this. You're going to bring the arms up to the side, stopping. When those arms are right straight across, you bring them back in. Don't let those upper arms start to drop. Keep them parallel with the floor. Get the elbows as close together as you can. Feel the stretch through the back. And bring it back around again. Keep those shoulder blades back. Don't let your elbows or your shoulders come up around your, your neck. You want to keep the low, squeezing it, and bring it back again to center. So we're going to go more difficult. We're going to take you come to the center. I want you to hold what you've got in right here. I want you to pulse and go one, two, three, and back in again. You'll feel this in the top of the shoulders and in the middle of the back. And here we go. And back again, coming in, bring those elbows together, two, three, and roll it back up. Make sure those shoulder blades are back. If your arms are getting tired, if your shoulders are getting tired, drop the weights. Just do this without the weights. Last time, one, two, three, and back out, and bring those down to the side. Next one we're going to do is a tricep kickback. So we're going to try to keep these muscles in the back of the arm. Uh, back at the top of the arm. What we're going to do is we're going to go into that split stance again. So you're going to have the feet parallel to each other. 
and then bring that heel off the ground and that back left. Hinging at the hip. It's really important that you do this hinge at the hip. So you'll be right over that front leg. The knee will be right over the ankles. We're going to bring the weights out in front just a little bit. And I want you to do is bring the weights up towards the chest and then bring it back. All we're doing is hinging at the elbow. And nothing else is moving. Arms sit right next to the side of the body. We come up and back out again. When you get to the end, stop. Squeeze it just one time, and then bring it back again. That little squeeze at the end will double the efficiency of this exercise. Squeeze it, and back up again. So you should feel it right in the back of the upper arm. Squeeze it, feel like it wants to clamp up, come back up again, and one last time. Bring it back, shoulders stay same place, only the elbows moving, and bring it back. Roll the shoulders back just a little bit. We're going to go up to the other side. So again, bring that foot up. Uh, opposite foot in front. You're going to have that foot in the back again. Find your balance point before you start. As I'm trying to. There you go. Feet should be parallel. It's really important that you keep them straight. All right. So again, bring the arms up. We're going to do a narrow row this time. So you're going to bring the arms up here. And now you're going to work the shoulders, bringing those Elbows back and slow. So go. Hold it and then coming out of it just a little bit of an angle. Again, the back is straight. Shoulders are back. Coming back. I want you to squeeze those shoulder blades together. The muscle that runs right in between it is the posture muscle. We want to make sure to keep that nice and strong. And back down. Keeping those shoulders back, opening up the chest and a good breath and breathe. And back down again. Feel those muscles. Working back there, so the elbows stay right next to the body. Bring it back, shoulder blades are back. Squeeze, and back out again. And one more time, bring it back. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, and out. And we're good, take a little break. Let's break here, you need a You need a jump to do. So, just keep working at like that. Listen to your body, that's the most important thing. Hydrate, make sure you get water in you, make sure your heart rate's not going up too high, take your time with it. These can be done sitting down if you want. It's up to you on how you want to do them. Uh, so, why do you need a man turn down the job offer? He couldn't see himself doing that job. Okay, so, just to get us to the break, baby. I like it. Okay, next one. We're going to start over from the beginning, which is the elbow fly. Again, your elbows may, or your shoulders may be a little, little tired at this point, so you may want to get rid of the weights or go to something lower, smaller can. Um, bring your shoulder blades back, a little bend your knees. Make sure the posture's there, you're going to bring those elbows together up front. Squeeze it. And bring it back out again, nice and slow. As you come back, open up the chest, get the stretch across the front of the shoulders and the chest, as you squeeze those shoulder blades together. Coming back forward, so you can get a little more stretching, those elbows a little closer together, and come back again. Make sure you're keeping those upper arms parallel with the floor, don't let them drop. Together, squeeze, and back out. I'm going to do a couple times with the pulse, and what we did there was we brought those weights together, we held it up there, and we just brought those elbows a little closer to each other three times, and back out. So you're doing this through the upper back right between the shoulder blades. And one, two, three. Back out again, nice and slow. Bring it down, roll the shoulder blades back. Give them a break for a second. Then go back to that tricep kickback, which means we go into a split squat, bringing one leg, the feet are parallel to each other, one behind a little bit. You don't have to go deep, you don't have to be real big into the lunge itself. You can just stand like this right here, it's up to you. Arms up in front. Bring the weights up, holding onto the weight, and we're going to take it to the elbow. And we're going to stretch it back, squeezing the press up, nice and long, and back up again. Again, I don't want you to bounce, I want you to bring that up, squeeze that muscle in the back of the arm, and back up again. Take your time with it. Back out, squeeze that muscle, and back in again. We'll do two more times. Elbow is the only thing that's moving here. All of the other joints stay right in place. 
one thing that happens here. And that's just press it, pull the arm up, and we're back down again. Both we'll shoulders back. Let's go with the other foot forward this time. And we are going to do the narrow step row. So we're getting back to straight. We're working that muscle right, right in the middle of the back is what we're shooting for here. And by doing that, keeping the weights up here, we are torso straight, it's right over that knee. The knee is right over the ankle, toes forward. And you get to the weights back, squeezing, and back down again. Coming back, push those elbows back as far as we go, roll them up a little bit, and back down. So when I say roll them, what I'm looking for is you're doing this, and you're squeezing that muscle, and then bringing it back down again. I got up in the spot, just one more time. Weights down in front, bring it back, squeeze the shoulder blades together, roll them back just a little bit, and back down again. All right, take a break. Grab water, I'm gonna grab water too. I need it. Hopefully you didn't hear that. I bet you did taste it. All right. We have one more set of strength exercises. We're gonna work the lower body on this one. So you can take your time. If you need more time, put this on pause. Just hold for a little bit. You don't have to do it all through at one time. Take your time with it. Maybe you do 15 minutes the first day, 20 minutes the second day. It's up to you on how you do it. So figure out what's right for you to get you through all of this eventually. It's not about being able to do it all today. It's about working your way to being able to do it. All right, so the first one we're going to do is the split squat. So as we kept tucking that foot back, heel up in the air, other foot's in front, you want to make sure that you are parallel. What I really want you to be careful of is having the toe pointing out to the side and then bringing that knee forward. That puts a lot of stress on that knee, causing a lot of problems. You want to make sure that you have that leg, knee, toe, alignment is everything all together. You're coming right down the middle and pushing back up. Using that back leg, you're squeezing and driving up using all these muscles back here. Again, all of our mobility and stability muscles are back here. Coming down, just a little bit of a drop, and back up again. You may want to use the chair on this if you need to. Holding on to the chair with one arm, coming down. Because you want to keep that torso upright. You don't want it leaning forward. So do whatever you need to keep the torso upright, and then drive with that back leg, pushing up. And then down, and back up again. Knee down, roll that hip, and up. Switching sides. You should be feeling that from here all the way up in the body. If not, make sure you're squeezing that back leg. So you can right straight down, the knees over the ankle yet, so that your torso is right straight up, and push up with that back leg. Bringing the heel up, down, rolling that hip, and driving up. Back down. This is a balance challenge, too. Especially when you get up on your toe. Bring it up. Doing all the muscles in the back of your leg. Working on that back leg. Up. And you're contracting those muscles in nice and hard. You're creating the effort right there. And up. One more time. Bring it down. Rolling that hip. And up. I'm going to shake that one out a little bit. We're going to take the feet out to the side. So we're going to do a lateral lunge. And a lateral lunge. Your toes are pointing forward. This is important. Toes stay forward. What you're going to do is keeping that back leg straight. Keep that front leg. You're going to push the butt out. Again, we're working the glutes by driving the butt out on the one side and coming back up again. You're coupling with the weights. You can take the weights down here and you do it without weights too. And push back up again. Make sure you bring the pressure from the ball of the foot back, coming down, and driving back up again. Take your time. Make sure the foot, the back foot doesn't roll up. You want to keep both feet flat on the floor, squeezing the glutes as you push back up again. And down, bring those weights over the leg if you want to. Give you a little more work. Come back up. One more time. We're going to go down, hold, and roll it back up again. Keep the feet right where they are. We're going to go to the other side doing the same thing. Again, butt goes back on that side. Squeeze it. And push back up to the leg. 
This leg is just kind of getting stretched through the middle here. Back, butt us out as far as it'll go. And back in. So from the side, you're looking at that butt from back. And up again. One thing you can do, if you be able to get that butt back a little farther, is put the weights out in front and then push back up. So you've got the ballast going against the front so you can get that butt up just a little bit farther and come back up again. All right, roll the shoulders back. Last one, use the chair if you need to, definitely on this one. We're gonna do a calf raise. This works the muscles in the back of the leg, from the heel up to the knee, the calf muscles. And that gives us our flexibility and strength when we do our walking. And back down again, holding the waist to the side, coming up, holding, and back down. You may feel those legs cramp up just a little bit in the back. That's kind of a big thing. And back down again. Try to keep the feet so that the weight is across all five toes, not rolling to the outside. You want to use all the muscle all the way across the foot. You want your ankle to be nice and stable, nice and strong. In case you're walking, you hit a rock, the ankle wants to turn your hip and bring it back. So you come up, squeeze, and back down. If you have to, just use one leg at a time. Squeeze it and come back down. That looks better for you. Up with the other side and back down. And shift that up. That was that side. Hit one more break. This is the last set of strength exercises we have. And then we will move on to finish out with some stretches for us. So we're going to go through all that. So we, worked, we started out working the upper body. We started out on the arms, the shoulders, um, the triceps, and then we went into the lower body. We're doing the uh, quadriceps, the front of the thighs, we're doing the back, um, and we're doing the calf muscles, so we're getting all of those. All of them focus on the hips. That is the most important part. You have to get nice and strong, so it keeps you stable. So when you're walking, your hips are going side to side, you can do a nice straight line. So if you're ready, let's do it one more time. Begin, deep break, the pause. Um, first thing we do, weight and split squat. So bring those weights up to the side. Finding the balance first. And finding it. Last for a second. Okay. And so keeping the bottom right straight up. Knee stays over the ankle. You come down. Stop where it's comfortable for you, Lord. You know you can't go any farther. And then squeeze that back leg, driving it up. Again, going down. Starting to make the heel drive. Squeeze those muscles in the back of the leg. And you back up again. Keep the torso upright. And you your piston. Come the way straight down. Right straight up again. A couple more times to come down. Give us a vision price towards that head. Up and down. Down. Roll it. And back up again. Okay, going to the other side. Same thing. Bring that left foot back. Find your balance first. Always wait for just a second. Let the brain catch up so that it knows. You know that it's holding you in place where you need to be. It's found its spot. All the muscles are the right position. And now coming down, and the other toe, rolling up to that back leg. And again, coming down. Contract the muscles, make this work. You make it harder, but how hard to squeeze those muscles? Coming back down and up. If this is too much, get rid of the weights. Do this just like this. The other thing you can do is use the chair. If you need it to help you, try to put as much effort into those legs as you can. Keep going down. And squeezing back up, hold the core tight because you want to keep your balance as well. Coming down, roll the hip, and push back up. All right, you're done with your weights, hands, whatever it is you were using. For the exercises, we're going to finish up with some strength exercises. Um, sorry, we just did some exercises. We're going to go on to the cool down part of this now. So, first thing I want you to do is put your hands on the hips. Nice and easy, a little bend in the knees. We want to try to stretch out those muscles a little bit, pull them down. You can take those shoulders and bring them around. And back. And keep the hips straight. Let's work our way back down. Starting the hips straight. Rolling the shoulder. And now we're going to roll the hips, bring those arms around. Keep that back on. Really drive it back. 
and you come around to the other side. You get a lot more stretch than you did when we start here. Muscles are warmed up, they move much more freely. And now, you have that foot roll around, get up on the toe, and back again. And last one, opposite foot, the trailing legs up on the toe. You're rolling those hips, you're gonna feel the stretch all the way up the side as you go. And roll the shoulders back. Okay, we're gonna go with the feet shoulder width apart. Once you're just keeping that back stretch, so you're gonna do the squat. That's it, don't you just hinge forward at the hips. Keep the chin up, don't let the chin get below the heart. You wanna keep it up there so you don't pass out. And back up again. And again, hinging at the hip. Feel the stretch in the hamstrings, the back of the, of the legs right here as well as the glutes. And back up again. You should just take the arms this time. Put them on the front if you're comfortable with it. And do that. Lean forward. This time I want you to roll the shoulders forward. Feel the stretch in the upper back if you work really hard. And to the back itself. And back up again. One more time. Bring it up. And hinging at your hips. Back is straight. And just roll those shoulders forward. Back up. And down. And roll those out a little bit. This one I want you to do is reach your fingers and you're going to intertwine them. If this works for you, take them and put them backwards like this. If it doesn't work, you can just do it with the hands straight. Otherwise, bring the arms and bring them up overhead. As you bring them up overhead, I want you to roll those shoulder blades back. Feel the chest open up, feel the shoulder blades contract in the back, and squeeze it. Nice deep breath in, and push the stomach up. Feeling the air around the lower part of the lungs and exhale. As you exhale, so you can get a full range of motion to bring those arms down the front. Right out the front. Now I want you to take the shoulders and roll them up. So the shoulders are going to be rolling out as you do that. And one more time, coming out, rolling the shoulders up. Now take the chin and put it down against the chest and roll the back. So you're going to be taking the arms right up, chin comes down, and you're just rolling that upper back. And you're going to feel the stretch go up and down the spine as you push out and the chin down. And as you roll it back again, and out, this is on. Keep those fingers out as much as you can. Just link these muscles out. These muscles can short out in some time. You can't stretch them back out. It just takes a little while. So make sure you're getting out there as much as you can. The next one we're going to do is taking again the fingers intertwined, taking the shoulders behind. And we're going to take the fingers and we're going to roll the shoulder blades back. As you do that, I want you to take a deep breath in. And when you fill up the lungs, drop those shoulders down just a little more and push that air down into the lower part of the lungs. And you can exhale. Let's do that one more time. If you're feeling a little dizzy from that, if you need more oxygen than you used to, get to a chair, sit down and do this. Be safe. We're going to take the shoulders back again, drop them down, and push them down. Deep breath into the nose, pushing that stomach up, driving the shoulder blades down, and exhale. Take those up. Last thing we're going to do here. You did a great job. You made it through this whole thing. Eventually, maybe not today, but at some point, keep the arms up. Just like you did at the beginning. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Push the air down. Stomach out to help force that air into the lower part of the lungs. And exhale as you come back out again. You want to keep those lungs, the elastic in the lungs, nice and nice and elastic. Bring them up. So you get to fill the lungs up. Push the air down as far as it goes. Get those lungs, fill it all up, and exhale. One more time. And bring it up. Deep breath in. Push it down, and exhale. We are done. I didn't actually see you doing it, but you did a great job. Thanks.